Blessed day everyone. So the topics more on to about in this video, a 16 year old boy was held in relation to an 8 year old girl killing. All male victims bodies found in a shallow grave and an inmate was shot dead after trying to disarm a warder. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the 16 year old boy that was held in relation to the girl killing. So it says 16 year old boy held in relation to 8 year old girls killing in Denham town. A teenage boy has been implicated in the murder of 8 year old Taya Brown in Denham town where Kingston on May the 6th this year. The teenager was one of two persons arrested by the Kingston Western Police on Friday, May the 22nd. The 16-year-old is being held on reasonable suspicion of murder, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. Taya was shot and killed at about 5 p.m. on Wednesday, May the 6th. She was reportedly standing on the staircase of her home on Dumfries Street when the suspect allegedly pointed a firearm upwards and began firing gunshot. The the victim was hit in the upper body parts and later died at a hospital. The other detainee was apprehended during an operation at about 4 p.m. in connection with the February 2020 murder of 42-year-old Kevin Clark of Greenwich Road, Kingston 5. Reports from the Denham Town Police are that about 7.15 p.m., Clark was standing along the roadway when a group of men drove up in a motor car and shot Clark several times to the upper body. The identity of the suspect is being withheld pending further investigation. Meanwhile, detectives are reporting that they have charged 31-year-old Domain Taylor, otherwise called Ichipang, of serve rate pathway, Kingston 12, with two counts of shooting with intent, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. Taylor was accosted during an operation on Tangerine Road, Kingston 11, on Tuesday, May the 19th. He is accused of brandishing a firearm and opening gunfire at a police team as they patrol in the Kingston Western area. Taylor Taylor is scheduled to appear in the home circuit court at a date to be finalized by the authorities. So people, the first thing we want to do is big up the authorities then because we see them out there work, we see them out there do them job. But may I try to show you how some youth just idle. Imagine the little girl up on her balcony stand up in her zine and the 16-year-old youth pint the gun up there and shoot the girl for nothing at all. Yo, Jano Star, yo, when me hear this, me I tell him, my head hurt me. But me know so a lot of them youths, them now have nothing for doing now, you see me? And this 16 year old, me I tell you the truth, me not sorry for him, none at all, none at all. Me not want to see mother, father, or nobody come out of ball, say, them son innocent, them son this and that, your son out there do things where you don't know about. And at that, me always say, so a lot of these parents come and talk about them son not do this and that, you know. You see me? And even some of them parents, they know where them son are going with, you know, but them cover it up, you see me? Boy, I tell you, kill the little girl for nothing at all. Boy, people, I tell you, yo, we live in our world, I tell you, you can't even stand up on your balcony, you can't do nothing at all nowadays. You just not even safe in your own home. Now tell me now, if that was my daughter, how me supposed to feel about it? How me supposed to cope with something like that? You know, so the thoughts that would have run through my mind for certain things I'm going to do. Boy, I tell you, I don't even want to say the things that would have come through my mind. 16 year old youth does idle. Them always say the devil always find work for idle hands, you know. And I definitely see it more and more. But anyway, people, as I say, let me know when you think about this unfortunate situation. You know, condolences to the family. And hopefully, them have a wallet of support for get them through this, you see me? And once again, people, me have to big up to the police. They like how they on top of things and who not doing the job, you see it? Anyway, people, me have to move on to the next story. All male victims, autopsies done and five bodies found in shallow graves. The police say the post-mortem examinations of the bodies that were found in shallow graves on a plot of land in the vicinity of Washington Gardens and the Sandy Gully St. Andrew on May the 12th have been completed. The police said that based on early findings, the five bodies are all males. Investigator on the case said that authorities are now awaiting further results as they now seek to establish the identities of the victims. We are now awaiting full results of the post-mortem. These details will be used to help police verify the identities of the victims who were found, a police source said. Sources said so far authorities have a list of names that they suspect could be among the victims, but they are unable to confirm any identity until the full results are available. The police reported that investigators acting on information went to the location in an area called Danger Island and after hours of search the bodies were found. So yes people from the name of that location danger island you can tell say a peer danger going over there so 
And boy, the name the Danger Island. The police them need for barricade that place there. They need for do something about it because they say it's a very dangerous place, guys. Obviously, the man them just take the body and just fling it over there. You see me as them take smuddy life over there. So uh, one of the first place them go. And them say half uh, Washington Gardens or uh, I guess that are near the boulevard, Dwayne Park. So if anybody had listened to the video will come from that area, we're not supposed to be familiar with the place. But it's very sad to see how mankind just heartless and cruel and just deal with people body any or any way. Them take your life and them just fling your body over one dump, dig a grave and just throw you in it. But people, leave in the comments and let me know what you think about this. I'm going to move on to the next story. Inmate shot dead while trying to disarm water in Spanish town. An inmate was fatally shot while trying to disarm a water while en route to the Spanish town hospital. St. Catherine on Saturday. Reports are that about 11 a.m. the prisoner was being taken to the hospital by two warders after complaining that he was not feeling well. It was not disclosed from which correctional facility the prisoner was being transported. Sources report that while while en route, the prisoner tried to disarm one of the warders and was shot by the other. He was taken to the hospital for treatment where he succumbed to his injuries. So yes, people, where this inmate, I think the dog will happen if him try to disarm the warder. Where, where him think the warder, the dog will just take out him gun and give him if him a take it away? Sometimes, I don't know, him just basically give him life. That's all I'm going to say. But leave in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Remember, people, stay safe, bless upon yourself, I'm out.